Hey everyone, it's Ben and today we're going to take a look at another fantastic product from Thermarest. This is their Chorus HD Quilt. Don't go anywhere, you're watching Living Survival. See how light this thing is? Man, that's awesome. So today we're going to take a look at another product from Thermarest. This time it's one of their top quilts. It's another product that's brand new for 2016. Uh, yesterday I showed you their uh, brand new Neolite Max SV pad. Very awesome pad that integrates the speed valve technology. This past weekend I used the NeoAir pad along with this quilt and I don't know as if I've ever had a more comfortable sleep. I was in a tent. I can't wait to try this in my hammock. So I'm really digging this top quilt from Thermarest. So if you're into hammocking at all, you probably have heard of under quilts and top quilts. Well, this is a top quilt from Thermarest. You could certainly use it in a hammock. I can't wait to try it in mine, but it works great just in combination with a pad as well. You know, with a sleeping bag, when you're sleeping on the ground, you're sleeping on a pad unless it has those channels in it. That's actually the reason for the channels or the little bubble cutouts and things like that in pads is so that you retain some of that loft underneath your sleeping bag. If you just compress it all the way down, sleeping flat on the ground, for example, or even sleeping flat in a hammock, you're really not gaining much from the insulation in the bottom of your sleeping bag. So that's why they have come up with under quilts for hammocks that sort of hang below the hammock so the insulation is retained. It creates a channel of warm air and then you have a top quilt or a sleeping bag on the top. So the same thing goes with air mattresses, as I said, that have those scoops or have, has the channels. That is put there so that you hopefully will retain some loft underneath you. Of course, the pad is going to give you most of your uh, insulation on the bottom, so you really don't need much more than a quilt. And the other benefit of having a quilt is obviously for its low weight and low size. This thing being down, it compresses like crazy. It's actually in its larger stuff sack right now. This is the stuff sack that you'd want to keep it in, you know, to retain that loft at home. I'd probably actually pull it out and usually I hang all my sleeping bags uh, in the closet so that they retain their loft but the, even the stuff sack is very nice it's a dual uh, sort of a dual uh, pull string stuff sack so you have the outer and you have the inner if you wanted to stuff it down a little further you could of course stuff it down like that but it has all this room that you can make it larger so that you can retain some of that loft and then of course it comes with a smaller stuff sack for when you're out uh, away from home that you can stuff it down even further. So when you pull it out of the stuff sack, you can just see how light and lofty this is. It's one of the most lofty sleeping bags I've ever had. I'm not sure if you can see there. If I hold it up to the sun there, you can sort of see this down suspended in there. It's all individually sewn into uh, sort of rafters along the, uh, the pad so that it stays in one spot. It doesn't go all over the, uh, the quilt. At the bottom here, you have a insulated foot box that has elastic on it. It's got, a ba it's got two baffles that run down both sides of the bag. You can sort of see here these two baffles. They run all the way down so that it gives you uh, draft protection from the side. That actually was quite uh, comfortable and, and quite useful this past weekend. It got down to probably about 40, 45 degrees in the middle of the night. That's right what this is uh, rated for. It's rated for down to 35, and I certainly would be okay taking it down to 35. So this has their Nick Wax Hydrophobic Down. Uh, basically, it's a treated down that's in there. It dries three times faster. It uh, retains its loft longer than untreated down, and then it's also 70% less uh, water absorbent. So, you know, if you get it wet, it's going to dry out quicker, and it's going to be harder to to get it wet in the first place. It's got a 20D ripstop material on the top and on the liner on the inside so no zips it's a top quilt it does have buttons however that you could use to secure to another quilt so this is the setup that i've been using you can see that it is just the quilt on top of the pad i'm getting that insulation from below the pad and of course the insulation from above 
with the quilt. Now I was explaining to you earlier that's why they put ridges and things like this and pads. Some have uh, like bubble cutouts and things like that. That's so if you're using a sleeping bag you still get those channels of insulation. But for me I don't notice much difference between just having a quilt on me and a uh, sleeping bag and to be honest it's very comfortable. It's just like you're sleeping at home with a blanket. So very very nice. It's very light like I said. And then on the inside here you not only have this foot box on the bottom, but you have these baffles that run along either side. If I flip this over here for you, hopefully we can see. You can see the baffles there. So not only do you have an internal baffle, but then you have these side baffles that are going to cut out some of the draft. So it's really intelligently sewn, and it does keep you nice and warm on the top and on the sides and it gives you almost full coverage like a sleeping bag but again you're gaining that uh, lighter weight and smaller space when it comes to packability so no hood on the top it just has sort of this elastic on the top you're using it more of like a blanket than a sleeping bag so no hood there it does have these straps that you can connect to another blanket and then you also have a uh, stash pocket here on the front for maybe your cell phone or a little headlamp or something like that so another great feature of these quilts is that you can basically use it all around camp. You know, it's not like a sleeping bag where it's got a zipper and everything like that. You can simply just throw it around you and it'll keep you nice and warm. You do want to keep it away from a campfire. Uh, you don't want to run the risk of burning holes in it, but you could certainly use it as a makeshift quilt and wear it that way as well. So this is what the quilt looks like when it's stuffed down into its stuff sack. I even like this small stuff sack. It's kind of got a handle here so you can just quickly rip out uh, the uh, contents, rip out the quilt there. And you could probably compress this down even further. Uh, this is not a compression bag. So if you got like a sill compression bag or something like that, you could probably get this down even smaller. One pound, six ounces. Very, very light. Awesome to take for your ultra light backpacking and hiking and camping trips. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, taking a look at the Thermarest Chorus HD quilt. Again, it's a new quilt for 2016. It's the first quilt that I've ever tried, and I'm loving the quilt system so far. Not only can I pack it down extremely small, extremely light, I can stick to that minimalist attitude when it comes to backpacking, hiking, and camping, but it keeps me just as warm as a sleeping bag. Again, it's rated down to 35 degrees. It's got that down in it, so it's super lofty, super light. I love the baffle system along the side, so it keeps your sides warm even when you're on a sleeping pad and I think it's going to do the same thing when I use it for uh, hammock camping as with most of their sleeping bags that has that nick wax uh, coating on the uh, the down the treated down so it's going to dry faster and be less absorbent if you did get it wet it's also got taped seams in it 650 fill so it's nice and warm I like the foot box how it has the elastic around it so that you can you know your feet don't really go anywhere they stay right there now this pad does come in two sizes they it comes in a regular which is the one i have five foot ten again it doesn't have a hood or anything so really doesn't matter that it's uh, five foot ten as much as a sleeping bag would matter if you were right at that cutoff point at six foot but they do make a larger one that's six foot two inches of course i'm going to put some links below to thermarest website where you can check out the pad that i reviewed uh, yesterday that goes great with this uh, quilt as well as this quilt and some of their other top quilts that they have they have some other great uh, quilts down and not down and then also sleeping bags i'm going to be reviewing one of their sleeping bags coming up in a future video very soon so again i hope you guys enjoyed the video today please give it a big thumbs up for me leave me some comments below make sure you share this video to any campers backpackers or hikers that might be interested you can also follow me on my social media as well make sure if you haven't done so for more great backpacking hiking camping survival outdoor products and good reviews coming up subscribe to my channel for more videos